Whatever. Hello viewers, in this video we are going to see string palindrome in Java. Okay. So watch this video till the end. So after that you will uh, get to know this logic in detail. Okay. So first of all I am going to create a string variable. There I am going to put the word is called raise call okay so before moving ahead so i'm going to tell you what exactly the palindrome uh, string okay the palindrome string is if the given string is same as you know ascending order and descending order if you see this string the ascending order the letter is going to be you know some order raise car so if you pronounce it uh, if you pronounce this word in descending order so that also going to be the same as same call so that is how we are going to see this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more variable here so the name of the variable is reverse i'm going to uh, give this in a short form so leave it empty so we are uh, going to store the a reversed string string in this variable okay so you have to create a one uh, for loop within that we have to give the initial value of this height value uh, as the length of the given string okay you have to put the minus one and i greater than or equal zero i minus minus which means you know the given length of this string okay why we are putting the minus one which means uh, you know i hope all of you know about array right so there we are going to do the same thing because the array will count the element from zero right so that is how it is also works okay if you put it like this the length going to be as like this the length of this given string is 7 right yeah if you consider it is uh, it has a character so this will the length of this uh, string is 7 okay fine so here we have to store a given string character in the reverse form in this reverse variable because we you know addressed uh, you know reverse in this so we can also use like this okay so for beginners they will get confused it uh, so that's why i'm doing like this this is very easy to see right so as of now what happens so here as you can see the given length of the string is you know seven so we are going to put the seven length as the initial value of this height value okay the initial value is seven so this will uh, you know store the given string in this reverse variable as reverse order right yeah exactly because we gave the initial value as seven and we are decrementing it you know in the descending order so that is how the descending character is going to be stored in this reverse variable so that's it so what we are going to do is as of now we are going to check the given string is equals to the reverse because we reversed the string and stored that value in this reverse uh, variable so let's see what happens now so we are going to just address whether this uh, if it is equal it is palindrome otherwise this is 
it is not palindrome right so let's see what happens let's see the output it is palindrome because you know in ascending order and descending order uh, the word pronunciation and uh, the character are going to be the same right so for example i'm going to change one more different word welcome let's see it is not palindrome sounds good i think it's a very simple logic so you can implement this in your uh, system uh, ide so that will be uh, more uh, effective so if you practice this logic and whatever logic you are learning do practice uh, then only you can remember during the interviews so i hope you all understood this concept and uh, if you are a beginner or if you are looking for a job or preparing for interview so i already posted many videos in our channel and uh, i created a, a separate playlist as well there you can check it out all the videos is. so do follow our channel and uh, do watch all the videos so i am keep posting lot of videos that are going to be help you in interviews so have a nice day thanks for watching and uh, i'll see in the next video.